Be ambitious, never be anxious. Be ambitious, never be anxious. This is something that took me a very, very long time to finally grasp this concept and to be able to see the importance of it. When you're anxious, you get thirsty and you get desperate for success and you're willing to almost do anything that you can to get the success. So if you're like a, a salesman and you're anxious to get the sale, you're not making sure that this is a quality account. This is a trustworthy account that your product is actually solving a solution for them. You're just willing to just say whatever and do whatever to make them happy just to get the sale. There's nothing wrong with being ambitious. Ambition is the is one of the, the main ingredients for success in anything that you do. You have to have an ambitious desire for more, for to be better than average. But when you're anxious, you start cutting corners. You start doing any little shortcut that you can in order to get the success that you just want so desperately, so bad. And especially, you know, when you're working with like the general public, people can sense that. People can 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 read that somebody's anxious and they can manipulate you. They can now see, okay, oh, this is somebody who's anxious to get my business. So even though I was fine with this rate, I'm gonna tell them that I need my rate to be lowered for this. Or I need to have um, double the amount of quantity of, of product that their company is gonna deliver. Whatever the case may be, if you're an athlete and you're just anxious to be ranked as the top 20 basketball player, then you're just willing to do whatever just to get the attention and just to show um, you know, just to be be flashy and, and to be showy on the court and not really willing to do what it takes for your team to win. In order for your team to be successful, in order for the, the plan to execute like a well oil machine, you might need to only average 15, 16 points a game so every so the entire flow of the offense can work together as one unit in order to accomplish that goal. But if all of a sudden now you're so anxious just to get recognized by the top coaches, you're just so anxious for all the other um, the, the recruiters to, to get to, to know your name and to be able to say, oh, yeah, this person was the best player on the team. Now you're taking up an extra few shots that you normally shouldn't take. That's a very bad shot just so you can get that 20 points per game, 25 points per game, 30 points per game, whatever the case may be. If you're like a, it's like if you're a baseball and you got a man on third base and you need to score one run in order to win the game. But yet this is a pitcher that you know you can knock a home run off of. Are you going to take that sacrifice bunt and get out so at least your man can come home and score so the team can win? Um, or are you just going to swing for the fences and possibly increase your chances of striking out because you're so anxious to get all the credit, all the accolades? There's nothing wrong with being ambitious, but don't be anxious because being anxious will put you in places and put you in situations that's going to make it 10 times harder for you to get out of it. So always remember, be ambitious, but don't be anxious.